Paul, thank you so much for being on the show. Thanks for having me. You're so much better looking than I am. Look at that. <laughs> it's, 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 all, it's all lighting. It's all lighting and, uh, and, and the Asian youthfulness, actually. It goes, it goes a very long way. When we go side to side like that, it's just a horrible, horrible. <laughs> hey, big fan of Young Turks. Oh, are you? Yeah, yeah. You guys are doing. Do you guys know Jamie Kilstein? Uh, I know the name. I haven't seen him perform. Uh, I'm not sure if he's been on this show. Uh, yeah, um, uh, I think you guys would take to each other in a big way. When I was I was talking to Jimmy Dore about like about comics, maybe to to have to to talk about Bill Hicks, and he recommended you um, because he said that you that you knew Bill personally. Uh, I was I was wondering uh, how you met him. Well, uh, yeah, I did know Bill uh, pretty well. We uh, we just met on the comedy circuit of the early and mid uh, '80s. You know, we were both uh, out there in the trenches. And I uh, used to cross paths quite a bit and uh, uh, a lot of mutual friends. And every once in a while, he'd have a gig someplace and stick around for a couple of days if it was a place he liked being before he went on to another gig. And we overlapped a few times in Chicago at a club that we both uh, had a real affinity for, which doesn't exist anymore. But uh, we used to hang quite a bit. And uh, I had a show on Comedy Central in the mid-'80s called Comics Only, which was really kind of a precursor of the show I'm doing now on Showtime um, uh, called The Green Room. But um, basically it was a talk show format but only with stand-up comics. And I used to tell Bill all the time, I used to say, please come on and do all the material that they'd never let you do on any other shows. So he used to go out of his way to come and do the show. In fact, there was one time where um, we did it once. I booked him onto the show, and he showed up, and I didn't even realize. He showed up with luggage. I didn't even realize what had gone on, but he, he actually flew back from London to come do the show and to get on a plane that night to go back to London. And that's how much it meant to him to be able to do a show where he could do material that nobody else would let him do. Wow. Actually, you know, a, a friend of mine, um, a comedian friend of mine, uh, Jim Hagerty, he asked me uh, if, if you had Bill Hicks on, on your show now, on the Green Room show now, uh, who would you want to be on the panel with him? <laughs> well, unfortunately, the best panel for Bill would be a panel of all dead guys. You know, <laughs> I'd, I'd want him on with Carlin and Lenny Bruce and all those guys. You know, uh, in terms of uh, uh, of who's around today, I would put him on in a heartbeat with Doug Stanhope and uh, you know a couple of other people that Rick Overton, uh, possibly John Fugel sang. Uh, a lot of people who I think he would relate to, who who have the same kinds of values that Bill had, but work in very very different styles. One of one of the uh, viewers of the show, uh, their their handle is Hands of Sugar. Um, so this is a, a general sort of co stand-up comedy question um, asked: uh, <laughs> What is what is more important, good material or stage presence? What do you think? Uh, well, I think in the best stand-up comedians, you see no separation between the material and their identities and who they are. Um, I think really you get um, uh, you really you cannot separate. You, let's go back. You can't separate a guy like Jack Benny's material from who he is and the, char the character and persona that he chose to, to portray. Um, you cannot separate Richard Pryor's material from who Richard Pryor is. That's why the real holy grail for comedians is to be able to, to have an entire show of material that nobody else could possibly do. That if anybody decided to steal that material, it wouldn't work because it's so uniquely who you are and what you're about. So really, the truth is it's, it, 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 has to, it has to all sort of merge at some point.